I'm not. What is up? My name is Justin. I am currently a data analyst working remotely for a biotech company based on in Boston. And in today's video, I would like to show you guys a week in my life as a data analyst. Before we get started, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So usually on Mondays, it definitely varies from project to project. I might have a meeting for a specific project to kind of go over any data models or anything related to the project. Uh, but what usually stays consistent is um, team meetings. And usually during these meetings, it's to kind of coordinate who's working on what, what dashboards are being developed, and if there's any help that is needed on one specific request. And then also I have checkup meetings with my manager. During these meetings, we kind of go over what I'm working on, if there's anything new that I need to do, or um, yeah, just a general check-in. And then also since performance reviews are coming up, I will have my performance review with my manager, which also entails what goals I've achieved, how well I'm doing. It's also going over my goals for next year and also any compensation changes. So that's usually how my Mondays go. And yeah, it's not too, too crazy, but um, it definitely depends on you know how much work I have, how many dashboards that I need to develop and, and so on and so forth. We're cooking dinner right now, and we are cooking this dish called huerobap, also known as poke, which has fish fillet, uh, vegetables, and rice. And yeah, that's what we're gonna have for dinner. Um, my dad and I usually trade off in cooking, but today we're both gonna cook and make this delicious. I'm so During the week, we try to cook most days because uh, we like to be healthy and we get most of our groceries from Trader Joe's and uh, we get our Asian food from our local Lotte Mart or you can go to H Mart to get um, other Korean or Asian um, groceries as well. Dad working hard here. Hello. At this special sauce. Today is Wednesday and later tonight at 9.10 I have my beer league hockey game at 9.10 and it's probably the thing that I look forward to the most during my week. I have a game every week either on Mondays or Wednesdays. I grew up playing hockey. I started skating when I was in fifth grade. Loved it ever since. It's my dream to play in the NHL but reality hit and you're five nine Korean male is just not gonna make it to the show ever <laughs> uh, but instead I became a data analyst so hey works out and I make videos on the side so that's it's not bad but yeah I will get ready, put my gear um, into my hockey bag, and we'll get ready for the game. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, records on my demo. Did y'all want to get the demo? I do not stay at the Intercontinental.
So it's Thirsty Thursday. Grab your drinks. I have my coffee here. So yeah, let's just get right into the workday. So usually during the week, I have these uh, requirement meetings with the business stakeholders to develop dashboards. So what these meetings entails is I meet with the business stakeholder to kind of gauge what they want on the report, which means what data they want, what KPIs that they want, and kind of the overall uh, view of, or the layout of the dashboard. So these meetings don't usually take too long. Um, so they're around like 30 minutes, gather requirements. And then once I gather requirements, I'm able to develop the dashboards on Power BI. So this is one big aspect of being a data analyst is kind of being also a BA, gathering requirements, and also being able to develop these dashboards with the data that they want. What I really like about being a data analyst is how flexible it is. So there's not, at least in my company, there's not a strict time that you have to work. It's not like you have to work eight, your eight hours, nine to five or eight to four and so on. But it's more like if you get the work done, it doesn't matter how much time you put in. So there might be days that I might be calling off work early or I might be, you know, staying late later um, because I'm working remote a couple hours later to get the work done. So for me personally, that works best. I usually like <clears throat> having that flexibility of, you know, when I get my work done, I'm able to kind of do other things and kind of have that work-life balance. So I have the meeting soon, so I'm gonna prep for that and hop right in. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. On Thursday evenings, my family usually has praise and prayer night, which consists of singing Christian worship songs and also praying for one another. I love whenever we have praise and prayer because it encourages me to connect back with God after a busy work week and also grounds me in prayer. Happy Friday everyone. I just finished work. It's around 4 and Fridays. I usually tend to uh, end work early around either 3 or 4. It tends to be a little slow on Fridays but um, hey I'm not complaining about early Fridays but yeah I am currently headed towards my local elementary school where I grew up to play roller hockey just to get some exercise in and yeah that's it for the video i really hope you enjoyed this week in the life of a data analyst and you got some insight on what it means to be a data analyst and there's a lot of work-life balance there so yeah uh, i hope you have a good one and see you guys in the next one